this is like the deadest place, bro. You never get any runs. There's no really modified cars that, that be riding around out of here. It's just, I don't know. This is just not a very lit place for cars. That's what you Okay guys, so what I really want to talk about in this video, last couple clips you saw, I did take this thing to the car wash and it wanted to get clean, but this thing really needs a solid hand wash, man. It's just, it's pretty far gone. Honestly, this thing could probably use a fresh paint job, which I do plan on doing sometime or another. But for now, it's not meant to be a perfect car. This is a really, really uh, usable and not like kind of like a no fucks given car, which kind of if, you, if you're a long time fan of the channel, you know that's pretty much my motto with damn near every car that I have. But anyway, this video isn't about the paint. This video is about the coil unplug conversion kit. So the last real video that we did on it was when we got it tuned and I think I believe I did some driving before. Since then it's been about, I don't know, I want to say six months or so. And guys, the only thing that I really can tell a difference is, so the fact about this car is it sits a tremendous amount of time. This car does not get driven a lot. And as much as I try, like the day was like the first time I've drove this thing in probably at least two months or so. And so I try, I'm trying to do better. I do got plenty of E in it now. I sprayed it all today. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. So I may not drive it, but I'll probably try to drive it Friday. Uh, just trying to do better by these cars. Uh, speaking of which, I do plan on trying to get the turbo into the shop 
probably today or tomorrow too we got to try to work on it orally but anyway so the little bit i have been able to dry this thing what i can tell you is the coil and plug definitely improved the first startup a lot like it was extremely hard to get going when you first wanted to drive it especially on e85 but now it like spins over like twice and just fires right up so I could tell it definitely got a stronger spark, which that's freaking awesome. So there's an advantage right there. Again, I'm on completely stock motor. Nothing really built about this setup. It's just a coil and plug conversion, E85 and um, uh, it's got 2000 or th might be a thousand CC K series injectors in it and butterfly deleting the manifold, ported 70 mil throttle body port match intake manifold and yeah just h2b headers full three inch exhaust i mean it's it's just a basic like this is the definition of bolt-on setup so nothing fancy and it doesn't require a lot of fire a lot of people will say that i was perfectly fine with the distributor setup but I did want to do the coil and plug because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this car. It's, it's completely in the air. And right now, to be real, I have a lot of stuff that I have to do. And that's why this car just kind of sits as it is. Uh, eventually, I would like to do something crazy with it. Again, you heard me say I don't drive this thing a lot. So one thing that I had contemplated on was well, two things. I did say I wanted to shoot it. So I may still do that, but another thing that I was really seriously considering, but it's gonna cost some bread, but I was seriously considering doing uh, M1 gas and just seeing it because James told me, man, if I do M1 or like M5, he told me, man, like without opening the engine, we should be able to see like, I wanna say 300 horse at least without opening up the engine at all. That would be freaking sick, but the cost of M1 to run M1 is bigger, like a huge inline fuel pump. No, you can't use the stock fuel tank, so we're gonna have to do a fuel cell. You gotta do all A inlines. So injectors have to be a special injector that doesn't corrode from the fuel type. So yeah, by the time we do all of that stuff, it makes sense to me to try a set of cams, valve springs and retainers in this thing. Because we can just pull the head, the engine doesn't have to come out, and uh, we can do cams. Cams are like 700 bucks. We can do valve springs and retainers for like another five. So I wanna say, installing everything, I wanna say like a good 1500 bucks. We should be able to, I think, make like 250 on this setup with the cams and valve springs and stuff. And with the valve springs, we should be able to rev this baby out to like 9,000. If we could get 9K out of this with the B16 transmission, oh my fucking God, this thing would be a sick ass car. So those are kind of my options that I've been just weighing around in my head and on the back burner, cause you guys don't see this car a lot, but I haven't forgotten about it. It's still on my radar and it's still one of my favorite cars of all time. So we are definitely going to be doing something pretty freaking rad because you got to think right now we're making 223 and this thing is a riot as it is. So imagine if we could break 250 wheel horsepower guys on pump E85 in this car. Like the ultimate goal honestly guys would be able to, I, I would like to be able to pull pretty easily on like stock 5.0 Mustangs and like, well, I know I can I can run with scat packs, but like SS Camaros and stuff like that, I would like to be able to slightly pull on them with this car, all motor. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's goals, man. I have my set of goals that I would like to do and uh, hopefully we can get there. If we do, it'll be sick for y'all to follow along. Uh, if you don't, be patient and just move on then i appreciate you stopping and watching this video but guys to sum everything up this coil and plug kit is definitely worth the money it's about 450 bucks 
you get the entire kit it is legit plug and play i will link the original video in the description when we installed it so that you can see this thing legit plugged in completely as you can see everything's loomed everything is wired perfectly runs right into there all the wires go into the cabin connect like they supposed to like there's there's no there's no guesswork man and i also got this from jack spaniel but Nomus industry also carries these he was just out at the time when we did the the uh actual setup here so but he does carry the block offs for your distributor as well so you can pick that up and the coil and plug setup all right from his website which i always link in the description below he has jumped on as a sponsor for the channel so anytime you guys are looking for computer work uh coil and plug setups i mean he does a lot of stuff i absolutely love this guy's computer work he is a freaking genius yeah there she is got the nice clear gnomus industry cover on it plexiglass and we are running his bluetooth module which is that yellow thing sticking out right there that allows me to connect to my ecu with my phone to read parameters and such and then that green the green wire is coming over here to the side um, that goes from this little unit here which is the coil and plug setup that just runs across and links into the rest of the wiring for the ecu so yeah, really, really dope setup, man. Definitely recommend you guys hit my boy up, Nomis, out in Cali. Check his website out. Go on Instagram, follow my man for me. You know, if you want, leave a comment on his latest post or comment on his story. He does a lot of story posts. And just tell him uh, Driven Film sent you. I would appreciate that. But, yeah, huge shout out to Nomis. But, yeah, guys, uh, with all that being said, I think I'm just going to wrap this video up here pretty sweet and simple just really wanted to get the H to be out today we went to the wash got it cleaned up give y'all a little update on the coil and plug setup I may do a coil over update video soon as well I know a lot of people ask about those we do need to do some rear suspension work with the camber arms and stuff they are completely shot the bushings are so probably hit max speed and rise up see if we can get something to replace those with but it's stock on here. These are stock, they're not aftermarket. So yeah, we'll get something to replace those and just com continue on building these cars, man, and enjoying it. But with all that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Like the video if you could for me, please. It greatly helps me. And subscribe if you're new. I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.